you know, dodges missiles, wait till one lands, don't get hit by a missile, don't get hit by two missiles in a row, and then hit them, and then die, because there's apparently no invincibility frames in this game. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 8 of Spyro 2 Season of Flame, part of the Game Boy. So, uh, first things first, gotta move the microphone out of my face because it was way too close. Now we have to find what level we're doing next, and I gotta remember how to play this game because it's been a while, because for whatever reason I have two flame buttons on here despite technically only having one in the base game. Now I think we can do a Sheila level and... Um, an Agent 9 level still, right? Yeah, because we did Lunar Ledges, but I believe there's still... Is it Canyon? Or is that the first level? I know there's another Sheila level around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Arctic Outback. Despite the unending insults from this little lady, I'll be more than happy to step aside for the trifling sum of 700 gems. Wow. That's a lot of gems. I didn't get to say yes! Excellent, off you go, my dear. My dear. Spyro, as always, it's a pleasure to take your gems. Please drop by anytime. Yeah, I don't I don't like you, dude, but we're going to Arctic Outback. And then I believe the last one is a volcano for Sheila. Which isn't in this game. Or in this world. <laughs> What's the problem now? Good day, Cobber. She never calls anyone Cobber. Space heaters? Well, why would you use space heaters in the Arctic to melt the ice? Also, why didn't you let me jump up there? Which one's that gonna melt? Oh, it's gonna melt them all. And there's ten space heaters, and I'm pretty sure there's the exact same amount of gems as always here. Aw, oh, man. Almost to the walls. I swear I've seen something down there, but I guess not. Oh, come on, game. I keep hearing something going, hee hee hee. Wait, is that gonna just open up an enemy? That's not very pleasant. Hello, it is me, Mr. Rockefeller. Is he just not gonna do anything? I really feel like he just straight up wasn't gonna do anything. <laughs> I don't know why that was a thing, but okay. Oh, that explains the hee hee hee. Why do they have to choose, like, the exact same enemy types for every level? They couldn't have, like, changed them up. Most of the other levels have unique enemies, despite having very similar attack patterns to the predecessors. And it's just kind of whatever, I guess. Yay, a space heater. I still think a space heater for the Arctic is a really weird idea. Also, that background, is it supposed to be like water or rock or what is that supposed to be? Because it doesn't really look like anything. That's for sure. Oh look, it's the Pogo Bunny! Oh, where'd he go? Die, Pogo Bunny! The space heater is mine! You don't even, like, break the ice, you literally just, like, the ice just melts away despite, you know, not actually doing anything. Alright, we opened up quite a few little pathways over here for some money. Some delicious cash moolah. Let's grab this rabbit. I guess you're so, more so grabbing the butterfly than the rabbit, but still. Does it mean you're, the sound effects in this game kind of, like, out of sync? Also, how am I supposed to know exactly where that rock's gonna go? Because they kind of, like, go in this unique pattern. Oh, we can't even kill him yet. We have to thaw this, it looks like. Whoa! What the heck, game? Oh, man, we can't- we still can't even kill this guy. So we're gonna have to listen to his rocks for the next ten years. Dwayne the Rock Johnson, leave me alone. Oh, god, this is a- this is even more annoying. Listening to all the little giggles from those enemies. Alright. Oh, that opened up a little bit of everything. So I guess we'll go north. Great, more boulder men. Eh, except sadly we can't continue up there yet. But maybe this'll allow us. 
No, that thought- oh, no, never mind, it did. That's a really weird order to thaw things in, but... We'll take whatever, because we need to do something. Now, let's continue on down back here, and go to the left. Or, I guess, to the east. Or, to the east, to the west. Yeah, I'm gonna get my, uh... Oh, come on, game. Wait. How did I take- when did I take an extra hit of damage? Did I take one from a rock that I just don't remember? Man, Dwayne Jones is just pummeling us today, isn't he? Oh, don't tell me, to get that health, we really have to open up this. That's ridiculous. Come on, game. We did too. Who, who designed getting health through going in here? We still don't have any means to kill that rock guy, though, back there. I don't know why the game is uh, so keen on us going ahead with, while ignoring the guy in the back. Ugh, die, rabbit man. I guess it's I guess it's fitting since I'm recording this on Easter weekend. Well, it's Easter Monday now, but most people I know are working and stuff today, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. And that just mass melts everything, and well, there's the the firefly, or firefly, dragonfly. No, they're fireflies, I'm not wrong. Oh, when you second guess yourself, sometimes it's ridiculous, but the fact that we have to go all the way back here just for some gems and an enemy is just silly. Like, come on, man. Hippity hop hop, hippity hop, look at Sheila go. Oh, for a second I thought he was just done attacking, because he wasn't even in, like, the, uh, cutscene there. Oh, excuse me. I did not mean to have that happen, but... Ooh. Yeah, and sadly, to get him to disappear... He was worth a whole two gems. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't get why you have to double jump for everything in this game, like, they really made it so things... Oh, no, wrong way. Let's hope we didn't miss any gems, though, because that would be annoying. Especially in a level like this. We did miss gems, what? And that was Cole, but spelt like the human name Cole. Wait, where are the rest of the gems exactly? Oh, wait, never mind. I thought that was going to be a, a lot more annoying than it actually was, but... Wait, did it not say level complete? I'm pretty sure we're done this level 100%, right? Yeah, for some reason it just straight up didn't say it. Anyways, let's go back to Celestial Plains. Eh, we still haven't made a profit on our gems yet. How many did we actually get from that level? 400. We paid 700 to get 400 and one Firefly. Yeah, the logic is uncanny. Now we gotta go and find that, um... That Agent 9 level, right? I love how this episode, we're not even really gonna be playing as, um... Spyro very much. It's kind of a wackadoodle thing, you know? Hello, Huntario. My name is actually secretly Hamtaro. No, we already did Winter Mesa. I'm pretty sure we've done every Spyro level, right? There we go, now we're fully healed. There's Hunter again. Yeah, because that's Haunted Hills. And then the one up by that ledge that we were at was, um... Candy Lane. Where the heck is the portal exactly? Because that was Arctic Outback. We literally just did that. Come on, game. Where? where? Yeah, because it's Candy Lane there. And there's nothing up there. We had already checked. So, where the heck is the Agent 9 level? Oh, it's right there. It's Rumble Jungle. Oh, this level. I hate this level. Luckily, I think there's only one of each animal stage in the next world, so that should be a breath of fresh air. I think. Hmm. 
Well, at least this level doesn't look too bad. The gem sound effects are still kind of delayed. I don't know if it's like every sound effect in this game, because some of them seem fine, and then other ones seem kind of delayed. And Whoa! Oh, come on, you cheater. Stupid guy. There we go, and he's dead as well. My issue with these levels is just like so many directions you can go in that a lot of time we're gonna like misplace everything. This music also doesn't really fit this level, just saying. Alright, and we wanna kinda like cut. Oh, come on, game, really? You're gonna do me dirty like that to have him instantly shoot me? Oh, hey, health! Let me in the door! Jeez, I don't know why it wouldn't let me in the door. Just clicking up, thank you very much. Didn't do anything differently than that last, or this couple other times that I tried getting in there. Or the time I actually got in there. I don't even know what I'm going on about anymore. I think I gotta switch to the D-pad for this one, just because it's... His levels are a little more finicky than the other characters, which is annoying. See, these cracked ones here, they'll fall right down if you don't immediately jump. Wait. What is the point of this? There is just literally nothing up there. I don't know who would design such a feature in a level, but there's literally nothing there. Unless it's to trick you into, you know, not going this way. Is that a sign for, like... There was a grenade guy right there. That's kind of dirty, game. Oh, kind of itchy arm. Anyways, let's hop over here. Alright. Do, 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 do. Whoa! Evil janitor again. The radiation janitor is here. Sometimes they're more annoying than any other enemy you face. Oh, luckily there's a checkpoint right there. So, I think we'll grab it. There we go. Oh, great. There we go. The double shots on him was beautiful. And then we kill that stinking guy. Oh, more ammo. Don't mind if I do. Okay, never mind. The D-pad isn't any better for going in the door. That's just annoying. I was hoping it would have been a little easier to traverse that. Oh yeah, these guys. God, I lost all my health again. Sheesh. These guys are kind of weird. Also, he, that's not where he was, by the way. And we died. Of course we did. Oh yeah, the, the annoying part about this game is when you die, enemies come back, and th that man just double smacked us. Sheesh. I'm honestly not a huge fan of, um... Agent 9 levels, like I know I've mentioned before, they are super annoying. Just because they're not really that fun compared to, like, other Agent 9 levels throughout the Spyro franchise. Huh, interesting. There's all this stuff underneath here. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa, a 10 and 25. Don't mind if I do. Should I have closer to all the gems? Ah, oh, we're about halfway done the level. Oh okay. yeah. Well, good to know. So I recently beat Persona 5, and honestly, it's a good game, but I went back to play Persona 4, because everyone considers Persona 4 the better game. I don't know, it's it's honestly hard to say that I like Persona 4 more than I like Persona 5. Joker's character in Persona 5 is just phenomenal. And Persona, I think, 3 Portable is the one that I had in the vote system. And people voted for it second, so it'll be played after Pokemon Yellow. <clears throat> so I guess it makes sense to have, like, two RPG-style games, though, like, not take place at the same time. So I guess I'm perfectly fine with that idea. No complaining for me. A little disappointed that you guys didn't vote for it, but then again, that Let's Play, or I don't even know if they're really Let's Plays, just playthroughs. Um, I, I don't know if I'd, uh have the guts to play that right now, because that would be like a couple, like at least a hundred and some parts, something like that, especially if we wanted to 100% the game. 
considering just how big those games actually are. Like, they are huge games. Was not expecting a guy with a bazooka to pop up behind us. Just saying. Ooh, ooh. Wow, another 25. Pretty sure we're almost in the level now. So go back this way. And see if we missed anything. I don't think we missed anything down here, so we're good to go there. Yeah, because then we made it to this part, and then I just kind of stopped going forward. Oh, these waterfalls cost a lot on. Also, that's the first time there's been, um... Any rocks or boulders or gems or anything that kind of just showed up. That's a big chunk of gems. I know it's only 11, but still, when you haven't seen any gems for a little while, 11 is a pretty good amount. Now, I don't know which path you particularly want to go first, but we're going to take the upper pathway here. Oh, wait, there's another checkpoint up here. Ooh, I was not expecting to fall on a janitor like that, though. I could have expected, at least, considering, you know, how this game likes to treat its players. Yeah, we have under 100 gems now, and I can't believe I got too close to that guy. Whoa. That's not at all where I wanted to go, but okay. Am I seriously missing every shot on that guy? Okay, we'll kill that guy first. Wait. Are you telling me... Wait, where'd he go? Why did he go so far away? Anyways, it's a 10, another 5, and Bazooka Boy here almost got me, but I wasn't going to let him get me this time, that's for sure. Thank you. Oh. Wait, we died? I didn't get to see the name because we just straight up died. I have no idea what technically killed me there. I didn't see anything hit me, so that's why I was confused. Oh wait, there was health up here. Wow, game, that's... That's nice of you to knock me down this far. Because now I gotta go all the way back up here just because you knocked me down. This game sometimes, dude. Alright, oh, now... And for whatever reason, did you see that the game just didn't double jump? It just single jumped and that was it. The hitbox on the rock is also really weird. They're kind of big and clunky. Uh, uh, there we go. Now we're only missing 40 gems for the level, so... Oh my god, the attacks of these guys, man. Huh, I can't believe I missed that 5 right there, that's funny. Wait, there was an enemy inside the end portal, ow. Alright, we're missing a 10. Which is right here. Alright, so we beat the level, now we just have to leave. Ow, and not get hit by a rock on the head, so... There, that's that level done. Which means I'm pretty sure we're done this entire world now. At least I think, right? I don't know. If I don't, it'll be level complete. I'll just check between episodes. So I guess we're going to the third and final home world now, which is pretty cool. I think we have time to do the boss in this episode, as long as it's not as bad as, um... Uh, what you call it? Um, crush there with my accuracy. Holy jeez. Oh wait, no, this is Winter Mesa. I'm sorry. As I get, I always said that as Mesa, but it's Mesa. I forget what language Mesa technically is derived from, but it's not an English word, that's for sure. So anyways, let's talk to her. And... We needed 50, right? So... Hang on, does the, does the atlas tell us the whole world? I'm pretty sure if we go all the way back here, it'll tell us, right? Let's see.
Yeah, we're just missing the one, the one, the one firefly because of the hockey game. So, let's go to Starry Plains now. I can finally have a drink. Forgot to have a drink. You know, loading. Or playing games, you know? With Crush gone, I'll be made second in command of the realms for sure. All I have to do is get even with that irritating speck of a dragon Spyro. It looks like someone's trying to travel to the Starry Plains, even now. When did he become smart? Ambushed again, grrrr. Hey, is that Gulp I see? He looks bigger than the last time we ran into him. Watch out for his rocket, Spyro. Ho ho ho, by all, all by yourself, Spyro? A big mistake. I've learned quite a bit from our last encounter. My new armor is impenetrable. Ugh, it does make it hard to move, though. Yeah, so what you have to do is you have to literally just, you know, dodge his missiles, wait till one lands, don't get hit by a missile, don't get hit by two missiles in a row, and then hit him. And then die, because there's apparently no invincibility frames in this game. Don't know how that managed to happen, but, you know, shite happens, I guess. Leave me alone, missile. Come on, game, that's just ridiculous. Leave me alone, rocket. Ow, come on, man. Now, is there any health around here? Ah! Now, I don't know if it... Wait, we defeated him? This can't be happening! Beaten by my own missiles, again! Doesn't matter, Ripto's secret volcano layer is almost complete, and you'll never fight your way in on your own. Never! Spyro, is that you? Whew, that was a close one. Gulp was about to use me as target practice. As a reward for freeing me, I am going to give you a fairy health boost. For now on, you'll be able to take one extra hit before losing Spyro. So, um... He doesn't use fairies as target practice, fairy. He, he uh... He eats them. That's just the way Gulp is. And thank you for resting me. So, onto the Starry Plains, the final home world of this epic game. Anyways, we're off to see the Starry Plains. Do 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 do. All right, here we are. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon links below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.